I'm with Maddie Allen Libero here at Great Oak. Now, Maddie, you were recently awarded with the Riverside County Girls Athlete of the Week. How did it feel when you heard that news? Um, I was super pumped and excited. I actually wasn't the first person to find out. My like parents were sending it to me and like a few of my coaches were and I was just like super shocked, but I was also really happy about it. So yeah. <laughs> and to win that as a junior is great right there. Speaking of which, you're a junior and you're already committed to BYU, verbally committed. Uh, you said that you committed your freshman year. Why did you decide to commit to BYU so early on? Um, I visited the campus and I got to meet like the coaches and like the players that are there right now and I honestly like fell in love with it. Like it was just such a great atmosphere and environment. I knew like my parents loved it and the coaches were just so like caring and like I have type 1 diabetes so like they offered to help out a lot so it gave my parents like more freedom and like we're like okay like this is great for her and like I don't know it's just, just so much fun and I love the girls I would be playing with when I get there and they're just like they're awesome so yeah I'm for sure. That's great to hear that you is willing to help out with something like that you know you don't always find that um bringing it back to Last night, the Southwestern League opener against Vista Murrieta. Now, Vista started off quick with the 2-0 to zero lead. Now, you guys held them off, though, tied it up. Then they ended up closing it off in, and winning in the fifth set. Uh, what are your thoughts on last night's game? Um, well, it definitely started off rough for us, but I think we got the energy that we needed, and we just kind of, like, start off the third set kind of like okay this is our game let's go let's like get pumped about it let's not let this two and like zero thing like get to us so we were kind of like okay let's do it and we just started playing really well very fast kind of like sh make them like shook them a little bit so it was just like it was like we came out strong and then yeah there was definitely a lot of intensity going on just from the sidelines. I can only imagine what it was like on the court. Now, a couple of girls I wanted to highlight were Jade Harris on Vista's team. She had 16 kills. Katrina Jensen on Great Oak. She also had 16 kills. Uh, Summer Ellis was out there backing her up as well as Molly Wilson for Vista. Do you have any sort of game balls that you want to give out to Vista and Great Oak? Um, for Vista, I would like to give out Paige Johnstone. She's a little bear on Vista. And then for my team, Grace Talpash, who's the setter. Now, starting off in league 0 oh, and 1, does that have any sort of effect on your guys' emotion as you head into the next game? Um, the only thing, it was a bummer to lose to this stuff for sure because we have like friends on that team and it's just kind of like, oh, like we could have like beaten them. Like it was just kind of like sad, but um, we're not going to let that affect us. And when we play them next, we're just going to beat them and figure out what we need to do. So. Whenever someone talks about Great Oak, the first thing they think of is the Red Wave. So them coming here to your house, where you guys will have the entire Red Wave going crazy, will be a little bit different. Um, what can fans really expect from you guys this season? Um, just a lot of like, in, like a lot of intense plays. I mean, we love we all love volleyball so much that like we would do anything to compete to any team. It doesn't matter of like. It's people that we know or people that we don't know where we're going to come out strong. So yeah. You've been on this team, on this varsity team. What are your goals for this season? You still have two years left here to play, but for this season and then maybe even for next season, what would be your goals? I definitely want to win league and make it farther into CIF. My freshman year, we made it out to quarterfinals for CIF, and it was so much fun, and then we went to state, and I'm hoping we do this again this year. Last year wasn't the best, but this year I really hope this is like our year. Um, I definitely want to win league while I'm here as I really want to. <laughs> um, but I want to do it like for Motluck and for my team, like the seniors on this team. Like I feel like they deserve it, Motluck deserves it, and we want to get another year on that board over there, so yeah. I look forward to watching you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. That's all for this podcast.